Happy holidays, guys! It's me, Chelsea. Are you having trouble finding time to watch your favorite holiday films? I have just a solution for you. It's me, giving you quick recaps of holiday classics so that you can spend less time watching and more time arguing politics with family. Here's Miracle on 34th Street. Okay, so this movie starts with this guy who looks totally like Santa showing off his reindeer knowledge to a shopkeeper. Like, I know every reindeer's name and stuff. And then the shopkeeper is like, uh, please get the fuck out of here, sir. And then this chick is really stressed about the parade because the Santas are all drunk. And so she asks the Santa looking guy like, hey, can you be Santa for a real quick sec? And he's like, I mean, sure, like I got a soul cycle class later or whatever, but yeah, I got a minute. And then the woman has a daughter, and also there's like this other guy who's always around, but I still don't really quite understand who he is. And then there's a lot of Macy's product placement going on during all of this. And the Santa guy's at the mall singing with a Dutch girl, and also telling customers like if they don't have shit, go buy the shit at other stores. And Macy's is like, oh hell no! So they background check the shit out of him, and it turns out his name is Chris Kringle, and he lives in the North Pole, and they're all like, what? So they psychology exam him, and the doc is like, yo, bitch is crazy. And then cut to Chris Kringle, and he's showing the little girl how to be a monkey, so like, I get it. And the little girl saves gum in a box? For some goddamn reason. And then finally, they take Chris to the Supreme Court to decide whether or not he's Santa Claus, which I feel like we're going to see more Supreme Court cases like that over the next four years. And then the Supreme Court is like, okay, you're probably Santa because we have all these letters that came to you and stuff, so it's fine, you can go. And then the little girl gets a house and a tree and it comes with a free walking cane. The end. This movie's weird. That was Miracle on 34th Street. So the next time you're talking to Santa about this movie, you'll be covered. And know that you're not crazy, because Santa is real, you guys.